Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm showing you how to use the Behringer Dual Envelope Generator Module 1003 to solve gate connection issues that may arise when making a CV gate connection from an external sequencer, synthesizer or keyboard controller to the Behringer 2600, the ARP 2600 or any other 2600 synth clone. So stay tuned. This video is actually a follow-up on a previous video in which I was showing you how to use the preamp module of the 2600 synthesizer to rectify gate connection problems. The link to that video is provided below. You may want to check it out. I thought of making today's video after reading a comment from one of my viewers asking me what to do when the preamp envelope follower section is already being used as a sound source or for other tasks. And that's when an external envelope generator may come in pretty handy. Hello, this is Ralph Baumgartel. Please subscribe if you are new and like this video to see future updates. Thanks a lot for your kind support. Of course, you can always use the preamp section of another 2600 synthesizer if you happen to have one. But it doesn't hurt to know how you can use an external envelope generator to solve gate connection problems. By the way, the dual envelope generator module 1003 is part of the Behringer 2500 Eurex system. Check out my beginner video about the 2500 system if you want to learn more about it. The link is also provided below. And now let's jump over to the Behringer Grey Mini, the Arturia Microbrute and the Behringer Dual Envelope Generator Module 1003. Here is the Behringer 2600 Grey Mini, here is the Arturia Microbrute and here is the Behringer Dual Envelope Generator Module 1003. I have already connected the pitch out of the Arturia Microbrute to the three oscillators here on the Behringer 2600 Grey Mini. The output volume of the Arturia Microbrute is turned down at the moment, so you will hear only the Behringer Grey Mini. If you don't know how to establish a CV gate connection to the 2600 synth, then kindly watch my tutorial which explains this procedure in detail. The video link is provided in the description below. The pitch out of the Microbrute may be labeled CV out on other synthesizers, which means that this output is sending a 1 volt per octave control voltage to control the pitch of these three oscillators here. To demonstrate this, I will open the filter and I will also open initial gain a bit. And now I'm playing some keys here on the Arturia Microbrute. And you can hear how the pitch of the three oscillators is changing. So I close initial gain again. And now in the next step we are sending the gate output signal from the Arturia Microbrute to the Behringer 2600 Grey Mini. The gate output from the Arturia Microbrute is uh, this cable here. Now we have two options to connect the gate signal to the Behringer 2600. Option one is using the sample and hold input, sa sorry, the sample and hold clock input slot, which I'm going to use in this tutorial. And the other option is going via the gate in and the trigger in. You have to bear in mind though that if you go via this route, you have to send a gate signal and a trigger signal simultaneously. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I have already created a tutorial about this process. You may want to check out the tutorial. The video link is provided in the description below. 
But now let's take the gate out signal of the microbrute, which is this cable here, and we plug it into the sample and hold clock slot here. So we move this switch downward. Now we press some keys here on the microbrute, and still nothing is happening. So actually the gate out from the microbrute is supposed to trigger the gray mini envelopes. But obviously that is not happening at the moment. The gate signal from the microbrute is not strong enough and we are going to solve this problem by making use of the dual envelope generator module 1003. So I move this switch upward again and unplug the cable. If I don't move this switch upward again, then the sample and hold module will trigger the envelopes and that is something that we don't want to be happening at the moment. If you want to learn more about the sample and hold section, then kindly check out my beginner tutorial on that. The video link is provided in the description below. So now we take this cable here, which carries the gate signal of the Turia microbrute, and plug it here into the gate input slot of the dual envelope generator module 1003. This module has two envelope rows. We are going to use only the first row here. And also please note that I have turned attack, decay, sustain and release to the minimum position all the way to the left. So, and now we take another cable and we plug it here into the positive output of the first envelope row. Here. That's this green cable here. And now we are going to plug this cable into the sample and hold clock input slot here on the Behringer 2600 Gray Mini. We move this switch downward again and now we are going to play some keys here on the keyboard. Nothing is happening. But as I crank up the sustain here, you can hear that the Behringer 2600 Gray Mini envelopes are being triggered now. Let me repeat the process. I turn down the sustain again. I press some keys on the microbrute. And you can hear how the signal, the gate, is getting strong enough to trigger the envelopes here on the 2600 correctly. Now let's add some delay. Bring in the microbrute.
So let's remember that the sample and toll clock input of the Behringer 2600 requires a signal that is at least plus 6 volt or larger and the dual envelope generator module 1003 sends a maximum gate output of plus 10 volt. So any other Eurorack envelope generator which falls within these specifications should work. But also bear in mind that you have to consider the gate output level of your gate sending device and the minimum gate input level of your external envelope generator. But finding the right solution for your specific hardware setup is part of the modular synth journey, isn't it? Alright friends, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in my next video. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace.